I think first we need to touch on the passing of a legend. The Black Mamba, the man that was known as the, the, the Mexican assassin. And he was. And he was. He was the assassin. That right hand clapper, you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> and um, Roger, the Black Mamba Mayweather. <clears throat> touch on it, Spence. It's sad. It's sad of his passing. And and the maddest thing is this is like we, we are remembering the man as training Floyd Mayweather Jr. Yes. And not the great accomplishments that he did. Two weight a, world champion. Two weight world champion. The first man to floor Pernell Whitaker. Hey, I remember that. People, I remember right, that. Remember that. I remember like in a press conference, you young kids go and watch that fight. Yeah, that Pernell press Whitaker conference. Pernell Whitaker pushed him in his face. Remember that? Yeah, 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 that press right? conference. Yeah. <laughs> The the championship reign when he won the WBA title against Serena, I think it was, that that was his arrival. Mm. You know what I mean? Then losing the title to Rocky Lock because he had two defenses, two or three defenses. I'm doing this with my head top. I'm not doing it off. I'm not looking on box wreck, right? He had, I am. Okay, go look at it right now. <laughs> go on, right? Go on. So he had he had he had two or three defenses. Then he lost the title, the WBA title, to Rocky Lockridge, right? Yes. When Rocky Lockridge stops him in, the, in one round, and then he comes back. And he has, he loses his next fight. But I'm putting that down to, you know, could have been the fact that he just got beat for his world title. Remember, he won a world title in just two years as a professional, you know. Serious, That's yeah. very serious. Turn pro in 81. 81, 93, uh, becomes world champion. 80, 84. 84, he became. Uh, no, 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 no. No, you was right. Ah, you was okay, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. 90, I'm, trying, I'm doing this from my head. Right? Yeah, 83. Yeah, 83, yeah, 83 became world champion. What's up? It was Serena, wasn't it? Serena, yes, yeah, that's it correct. Was Serena, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. The so, knowledge. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> the knowledge. Right. So <laughs> come on. We have to look at that. How incredible he was then, but the thing what made him so exciting because he was very susceptible. He was mm. susceptible to overhand rights. Yes. You know what I mean? He was he was susceptible, but what the the guy was very cunning and sneaky. And you can see, like, if you watch. Um, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Yes. And you watch Roger, you can see where oh, Floyd Jr. evolved his Evolved the system, from. yeah, yeah, you know, 100%. He, he evolved it. Because he, he, you know, he, he held that, he hid the right hand behind it. the shoulder. Yep. And he so, slapped it, and then bam! Well, all right then. And I remember a story, you know, I was with Floyd in, 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 in the mansion, in one of the hotels, I forgot the hotels, and uh, I remember we was watching Roger Mayweather fights the okay. whole evening. Okay. So Floyd was studying his uncle. All right. Trust me. I, and that ain't no, I heard it or no, or read it or no you website. Witness. I was there. Right. We was in the mansion. I was on the sofa. Floyd was standing up. This brother, I said, this brother Superman. The brother never sat down. He was standing up all the time. Fruit on the table, eating a fruit, watching the fights, saying where the fight was, what round it finished, the date. Floyd Mayweather knew all of that. All right. So we yeah. love Floyd Mayweather. They got Floyd Mayweather. But yeah, let's go back to Roger. Yeah, so that moves up in weight. Yes. And the thing about it is, is it even he didn't even <clears throat> when he moves up when he moves up in weight, he didn't even stop at lightweight. He stops at lightweight, didn't get a world title shot there. Because mm. he fights Pono Wick at lightweight and he moves up to 140 mm. and he fights for the WBC title. Um oh, what's his name? Oh, Arendo. WBC? Yeah, the WBC title. Arendo. Got um super uh, super lightweight or lightweight? Super lightweight. He fought a Mitchell Jackson. No, no that was going, a, keep no, going, no, no, no. Keep on going, keep on going. Gonzalez. Keep on going. Keep on going. Nope. It's because you got the, the block there. That's yeah, why. I don't know. It was it was Arano that he fights for the for the for the the junior waterweight title. Okay. He, he beats him for the title. But prior to that, he, he has a wicked bomb burning fight with Howard Brazier. And if you know about Howard Brazier, Howard Brazier was the gatekeeper for the light, light waterweights and waterweight division. Lloyd Huntington boxed Howard Brazier as well. Okay. And had a, had, a, had a tussle with him. No, I think that was a world title defense when he fights Brazier. And then he fights Vinny Pazienza. Mm. And he fights Pazienza. Um, <clears throat> was it December 7th? December 7th, because I know it was on Sugar Ray Leonard, done it on Undercard in Vegas. Um, November the... Si no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Vinny no, Panzeza. Yeah. What, what was was in the November. Is that... The way this written... 
Yep, November 7th. November 7th, November yes, 7th, right. he fights Vinny Pazienza. Yes. And I would say to anyone, watch that fight because round 11, Vinny Pazienza was a fireball fighter, you know. Don't, hmm. don't play with that guy, you know. He was just pressure, but he had skill as well. Yes. He'd throw hard shots. And Vinny Pazienza comes out like a man demented. Hmm. And He tried that with Ray Jones as well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that but, never worked. Right. And same thing. Hides the right hand with the shoulder. Yes. And Roger ran 11 and he throws an uppercut. Boom! Hmm. And he skittled across the ground when he dropped him. You know, He skittled and he said, yeah, you got me. One of them ones there. He got hmm. up and he lost on points. But Roger Mayer was a fantastic fighter. Then he fights Julio Cesar Chavez again when Cesar Chavez moves up from lightweight up to light water Come and on, he Spencer. loses his... Come on, his- Spencer. Listen, right. you know what? Let me just stop there. Every week, I've known you for a number of years, way before I came into boxing. And every week, you don't... You, you, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed more and more how you remember this. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. It? <laughs> no, it's I'm not crazy. It's Spencer Freer. <laughs> the knowledge. The knowledge. So I'm just giving... So for those of you watching and, and listening, I'm just giving my longtime friend the props he deserves. Because as I said on a post I wrote about Roger Mayweather yesterday... We're all waiting for people to leave us before we start giving them roses. Yeah, exactly. Why, why don't, don't we just that? praise them? Come on, press the button. Man. Right. Why don't Why don't we just praise them while they're here? Right. So I'm gonna keep praising my my brother, my friend, while we're here, while we're shining together. So big up Spencer Ferran, the knowledge. Okay. <laughs> Come so on. When we look at the things of what Floyd Mayweather, Floyd, 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 Roger, Roger Mayweather did. We, we forget, like, he lost to really good fighters, yeah, yes, right? Sir. And he lost to the greatest Mexican of all time. There's no shame. Julio Cesar Julio Cesar Chavez. So there's, there's no shame in that. And then also, <clears throat> he fights Costa Zou. Yes. Right? And people seem to forget that he went to, he went, and this is, he's past it now, right? Yeah, yeah. That's and why, that's why you, I remember, sorry to cut you. He said, there's no way Costas you could have beat Floyd Mayweather. He said, he couldn't even beat me. I was an old man. Right, exactly. And he lost on points to... to yeah, but to Costas. Now, he ventured him up. Though. He was bare, <laughs> yeah. bare veteran skills. <laughs> yeah, bare yeah. veteran skills on him in that fight, man. What, what year was that? Um, Costas. 91? He was... 1995. Costas, was... Was right? was 14 and 0 at the All time. All right, then. 14 yes. and 0. And he was finished by then because you got to think prior to that. Yeah, it was, it was like, a latter part was, of his career. Yeah, right, thank you very much. It was 12 years prior that he won a world title. So he was done then. Yes. He was done. But he veteraned up Costa Zoo, who is most probably one of these top five um, greatest light world weights. Absolutely. Of all time. Yeah. You know I remember mean? studying a, a lot, a huge part of Costa's career. Tremendous puncher. Oh, remember what he'd done to Zab ridiculous. Judah. And uh, Ricky Hatton got him. Good old Ricky. Uh, great fight, great timing. But I just think Ricky style probably would have always given him trouble. That constant pressure. Costa needed time to think. Yeah, it, it but he would, just it hit it so hard. Given, he, hit, he hits ridiculously, he hits he so hits hard. ridiculously hard. Yes. But, you know what I mean? Like you say, as Bob Tony Jai always says, everything's timing. Everything's timing. Right? And that was... That was Great that was night correct. for Ricky. It was a wicked night. I remember being at the fight because Danny Williams boxed on the undercard. Mm, I was there at him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wicked fight. We can fight. But yeah, we digress. Yes. So when we're thinking about Roger Mayweather, don't just think about the guy who trained Floyd Mayweather. Yes. The guy very as a fighter important. was excellent. Right? He was a very, very good fighter. And the thing that made him exciting because he's, he was very, very susceptible. You know what I mean? He was susceptible to overhand right, susceptible to left hooks. But the guy could fight. And another fight for you little young cats to go and watch is... Um, his fight with Liverston Bramble. Hey. Right? That fight was serious. Serious fight. Guys, because Bramble was a serious yeah, fight yeah. as well. Yeah, these guys just stood solid with one another. And like, Roger done some bad, I think it was like round four, Roger done some bad boy skill. Like, he went jab, jab, pause, sneaking, uppercut to the pit, yeah. left hook over the top, then rolled out. <laughs> he, like, loads of these things we're not seeing no more in boxing. The reason why we're not seeing it because fighters are no longer relaxed when they're in there. Yes. Everything's like, they're all pent up. Yes. Be yes. first and be. Yes. Like, he, watch these old masters. These guys are, he was an old master. When you watch these guys, and not only that, but his history on the sport was was on point. You know? Yes. 
Absolutely, I remember nuts, in, nuts in Las history. Vegas, you and him was <laughs> going at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, had to, he, had to, he gave me, he gave well, he me, gave me respect. Game. He gave me a lot of respect, man. And that, that to me, I don't care about no Instagram or no Twitter or no Facebook blue tick. I got a blue tick from Roger Mayweather. <laughs> but then also we have to realise the man pioneered this new form of training. Absolutely. Because everyone was saying, ah, oh, this tippy tappy pads. Mm. Look here, right? I remember mm. the scrutiny that my brother Bubba Tundi Ajay was getting. Mm. Now everybody's doing that former style of pads. Come on. Everybody is doing it. Right? Come on. But I remember when it first started. Remember the, remember the abuse. Oh, listen, that abuse still abuse. today, but, right. but you know, they're, they're, that's more the new ones coming in that I haven't seen the last 20 years of me working. But, you know, I always knew, I was like, to me, it's just, Simple maths. If I'm looking at someone who's great, well, then who made him great? Who was part of that great okay. that greatness? Okay. I just study him. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all. As simple so as that. You, 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 some of you want to uh, big up the fruit, but forget the tree that bear the fruit. Huh. So that never made sense to me. <laughs> that's about it, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm today. Some Roll of you, today. Some, and that's what I keep telling you about these <laughs> trainers that have no self-esteem. You're there praising the fighter 2,020 days of the year and forgetting about yourself. Hmm. Well, hold on. Ain't you sacrificing, Mr. Trainer? Don't you sacrifice your time, for y your children, your family. Your shoulders. Your shoulders, your hands, your, your wrists. Everybody, all the trainers I see wearing that thing around there is a wrapper. <laughs> you understand? Then you want to just credit the fighter. Yes, the fighter deserves credit, but you also, Mr. Trainer, deserves credit because one cannot get to dare without the other. As simple as that. Big up Roger Mayweather. And Come big on. up all the trainers in the UK. Because the last time I checked, UK are doing quite good. Yeah, 100. <laughs> we, got a, we got all the heavyweight belts. Yep. So the, so they've all got trainers. Oh, oh Tyson's <laughs> trainers American. But, <laughs> but listen, he started right here. He started right here. 100%. Anthony Joshua, big up Robert McCracken. Big up. Anthony Yard, big up Tunde J. <laughs> Come on, bro. Listen, and there's so many. Dylan White, Mark Tibbs. Come on, guys. Let's start giving the trainers more credit. Riddy, Joe, John Pegg. Or is it Joe yeah, Pegg? Yeah, John Pegg. John, John Pegg. Pegg. Is what I'm trying to say. He's a little Alarak guy as well, you know. Come trust on, me. Come, come on, on man. History, let's, 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 let's support these trainers and give them the credit. Sometimes, I mean, I, I'm a bit different because I manage and train, but to me, 10% ain't enough nope. for a trainer. Nope. I'm, I'm just being honest. 10% ain't enough because, because these trainers are with these fighters probably 95% of the time. And they go through what fighters go through, maybe not physically, all the time in in the terms that they can't get in a ring with them but they're there they, they're on an emotional journey with the fighters as well and I, you know trainers are um listen the heart the heart is the function for the body but you don't see the heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't see that red instrument that's pumping you just see the outside body so just because you ain't seeing it, it doesn't make, or it doesn't mean that it's not doing its job and it's not helping the whole body work. So big up the trainers. Roger Mayweather is a legend. Roger Mayweather, and a lot of people would say, is the reason why Floyd Mayweather became so successful. And uh, I can't say I disagree because... <laughs> well, Floyd's only mission was that. He said Flo he, he yeah. owes it to his uncle. Uh, Floyd, Floyd weren't letting Roger train no one but him. Exactly. So there's a reason for that. All right. So, yeah. It, I mean, we can go on about Roger, but I, I don't like to... You know, I hear people say it's a sad loss, and I, I don't really look at it like that. I, I think it's more of a celebration of his life and Thank you. what Roger done for the sport of boxing. And as you said, he revolutionised and, and, and changed the way boxing is tall exactly and you have to remember you never saw roger out of shape you know no 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 listen you can't again anyone who knows you can't train these kind of athletes because that's what they are they're athletes without being in shape yourself exactly you know so again credit goes to the trainer just watch remember what was it it was 2013 when we were in the me, me you were, were in the gym yes the gym right just watching 
their work. They're shit tired. Oh, goodness. Just watching them do their work. Yeah. Just watching Floyd Mayweather. Bear them yellow Roger. drinks from around the corner we was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> from the Chinese shop around the corner. <laughs> and we was, me and Spencer was sweating. Oh, um, mate. All right, listen. It was a joy. Yeah, and another great experience for the both of us, Spence. You know, and I remember you got the picture. You got the, done a little video. And, you know, it was great for us to see that partnership, you know, live and in the flesh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we're going to talk about in history of great partnerships. You know what I mean? Muhammad Ali, Angela Dundee. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about great partnerships. We're going to talk about... They're always going to talk about um, Mike Tyson, Customer. Yes. They're always going to talk about it. You know what I mean? But the one that, to me, that will top all of them is going to be Roger Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather. Mm. Not for just simple for the fact that um, Roger... And and Floyd Floyd retired, um, unbeaten. Undefeated, yeah. Un, yeah, fifty and all. No, that's not the thing that does it for me. The thing that does it for me is the fact that loyalty's royalty. Come on. And he started his career with his uncle, mm-hmm. and he finished his career with his uncle. Even though his dad came back because you know his dad was incarcerated, and come back. Even though his dad came back, but he started and he finished his career with his uncle. It's only because of um, um, poor health. Why? Yes. Why Roger wasn't around. And like I keep on saying, Lord is royalty. And that is beautiful because all these all these fighters, when certain things go wrong in fights, mm. straight away, it's my trainer. It's because of this. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Never, well, look, never the, looking in the mirror. Right there, exactly. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm, 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 I, I love Michael Jackson. So <laughs> any of that nonsense, I'm looking for the man in the mirror. Simple <laughs> come as on, that. Come Simple on. as that, man. But anyway, I'm not going to jump around and say it's a great loss because this is what I realize. And I've lost their people to me. That people only die when you forget them. And nobody in boxing is ever going to forget Roger, the Black Mamba Mayweather. May you rest in eternal power, my brother. Dream it. Believe it. Become it. Roger, that was for you. Anyway. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the Stamina for Soul YouTube channel.